Welcome back, my amazing artists. I hope you'll join me in this lesson as we combine art and science to create a 3D form. In this lesson, we will model a relief sculpture of a fish out of model magic clay, add interesting details to convey our own ideas about fish, and add color and patterns with paint and markers. Let's dive in. We know that art is made up of seven main elements. These are the ingredients that we use to create all artwork. Form is one of the elements of art, along with line, shape, color, texture, value, and space. Forms are three-dimensional shapes, or 3D for short, meaning that they have three dimensions, height, width, and depth. Some common forms that are familiar with us are spheres, cubes, cylinders, and cones. These are geometric forms, but there are also organic forms, such as plants, fruits, people, and animals. Forms are all around us. Three-dimensional artworks come in the shape of forms called sculptures. Relief sculptures are one-sided sculptures. Reliefs are sculptural artworks that appear as a raised texture above a background plane. Today we are going to form a sculpture of a fish using model magic. Model magic is a soft squishy, marshmallowy, air-dry clay that resembles Play-Doh. Using the model magic, we can create forms by molding the clay into various shapes and lines by squishing, rolling, and flattening it with our hands. Before we get started, let's look at the anatomy or diagram of a fish. They have a body, a head, gills, fins, scales, and a tail. We are going to make each part of the fish using the model magic. Look closely at each part of the fish. What shapes and forms do you see? Think about how you are going to create each piece of the fish body using the model magic clay and what forms you will need to use. Think about adding extra lines and shapes and patterns to create details on your fish. You can even use lines and shapes in the background with markers or paint to decorate the scene that your fish is swimming in. We are going to begin with a piece of matte board. One side is black and the other side is white. You can use either side to create your fish on. The first thing you're going to do is write your name in the corner. I suggest the top corner because it will be easier if you wanna add details to the bottom later. Now I'm gonna open the pack of Model Magic you can try peeling the back tab and pulling it back to open it. If this is too hard, you are welcome to use scissors out of your pencil patch to snip the top off of the Model Magic package. Just like this, just cut straight across. There you go, and you're done with your scissors. You won't need them again. Now I can open up the package by peeling open the back where it joins and revealing the model magic. To soften it up, I'm just squishing it in my hands and kind of forming a rough dough shape, a rough little ball shape like a piece of cookie dough. I'm going to begin by finding the middle of my mat board and deciding where the body of my fish is going to go. This is going to be the biggest part of your fish, so take off a good little chunk of clay 
and start to roll it around in your hands. You can squish it back and forth, roll it between your palms. You can flatten it out a little bit. And then you're going to shape it into the face and body of your fish. So this is gonna be the general shape of the body. And I'm just pointing the front just a little bit so I can have some eyes and a little smile for my fish later. I just want to make sure it doesn't fall off, so just give it a little tap on the table. And once everything is secure and I have flattened everything down, then I'm going to take another chunk and I'm going to start to build my tail. And I want to build it in a little bit of a V shape. So first I'm going to roll this piece of clay into a sphere or into a little ball. This is a form of a sphere rolling it on the table until it forms a little ball. Then to get it to be in the shape that I want it, I'm going to roll it out on the table and create what is called a coil or a long snake-like piece of clay. And then I'm just going to manipulate it with my fingers a little bit and get it just the way I want it for my fishtail. Now I'm going to start to build on more details to my fish. So I'm going to break off smaller pieces. As I get my details more defined, my pieces of clay get smaller and smaller that I tear off. I'm just going to form a little triangular form here. And this is going to be the side fin of my fish. I'm just going to press that down with my finger smush it down. Then I'm going to take off another little piece and roll it in my hands, make a little coil. And this is going to be the top fin of my fish that goes alongside the back. And I'm just going to flatten it out and use my fingers to form it in the shape that I want. I'm going to add another little fin to the bottom of my fish, like we saw in the diagram. I'm just making another little triangular shape, and I'm going to add it down here to the bottom. And smushy, smushy with my fingers. Get it just the way I want it. And there. Okay, now I'm ready to get another small piece. I'm going to make another little coil. So I'm just rolling it out onto the table. This is gonna be for the gill that separates the face from the body. I got mine a little too long, but that's okay. There we go. And now I'm going to make the face. So I'm gonna have a little eye and a little mouth. Just rolling a tiny little sphere in my fingers and that's gonna be the eye, good. Right there. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to make a tiny little coil for the mouth. Give it some little Freddy fish lips. I'm going to speed up the video and use up the rest of my clay to add tiny little details and seaweed and bubbles to my fish. I'm also going to use my pencil to add a little bit of texture using the drawing side of the pencil and the eraser side of the pencil. I hope you all have so much fun creating your relief designs using the Model Magic Clay and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Once your Model Magic Fish sculpture has had time to fully dry, you will be ready to add color. For this assignment, we will be using Bingo Daughters to paint our relief sculptures. Remove the lid and give the daughter a little shake. To paint, we are just going to lightly dot the surface of the Model Magic with a padding motion. Make sure you close the Bingo Daughter when you are done with each color 
so they don't get dry and crusty. No one wants to use a crusty daughter. Add a variety of colors on and around your fish. Start with a light color for your base. I'm going with yellow because it will be easy to layer darker colors over it. Then I will move on to other colors. You may want to keep a spare piece of paper to test your colors on as you go. Now I'm gonna fast forward to lightning speed as I finish painting my fish. I hope you all had fun creating your model magic fish with me today. I cannot wait to see how these turn out.